The Winsu.ai app for HubSpot helps you to get your HubSpot data into your reporting stack. We support BI tools, spreadsheet tools, and or databases. You can also combine in case you have a reporting in multiple destinations. To get started, you simply install the app, go through the authentication process, and now you would repeat this authentication process for each HubSpot account you want to connect. I'm doing one here. Choose account. Connect. And now my, date, my, my account is registered. I give an account name. Now my account is registered. As the next step, I now need to go and select the fields. I already have pre-selected the two HubSpot fields, email and last modified date, which you can see here. And now as the next step, I would then go and add additional fields if needed. Uh, there is hundreds of them. And from here, we, will, we want to get the data pushed into our destination of choice. Uh, example one is on HubSpot into Looker Studio. There is a pre-built template which comes with it. So if you install the, the connector, you would see the objects, same data as you have in onboard.windsor.ai. You then select again the fields mm -hmm. you want and create your own report. In case you want to get data into Google Sheets, there is a plugin which is Add Data and Analytics by Winsor.ai. You simply install that. Once it's installed, you log in with your API key, which I can quickly show here. We log in. I select Google Sheets, copy my API key. And then I have the sidebar and in the sidebar, I can start selecting um, when I click get data into sheet. I can start selecting the fields I want uh, to have pulled into Google Sheets. And now the data is here. Same as in Looker Studio, I could then go and now select uh, different fields. And we just select them and then reload the data. For Power BI, it's the same thing. You can define your own fields or you can use our template and use that to start creating your own Power BI template. There are other templates on our website. Please do check them out. And for the data destinations, the process is similar. You select, for example, Google BigQuery, you enter your information and then create your destination task here. And for the data destinations, the way it works, it, it stores the data once a day in your data destination and then it refreshes it. Initially, you can schedule a backfill in case you want to have all your historical data from HubSpot in your database. For, to do that, you just simply select a backfill. That same process applies for all our database destinations. Thank you very much for watching this video.